Gang, I'm doing a video today on some of my favorite budget or cheapy fragrances. Some of these are really, really excellent releases and I'm covering both, or actually I'm covering men's, women's and unisex fragrances in this video, but all really, really great fragrances approved by me. There are some new fragrances I'm discussing in this video as well. And there's all these different price ranges, find the best deals, online and sometimes you'll have to wait for promotions from a brand's specific website but i've got a top 10 list of 10 10 fragrances coming right up thanks so much for tuning in this is sebastian yesterday we're talking about some inexpensive fragrances some of the best out there some you can find really really great deals for you can get as low as 25 bucks for 100 ml some are a little higher, but I find these to be very, very um, budget priced. And as I said, sometimes you have to wait for deals and things like that for specific brands, um, uh, deals online. And I'll let you know which those are. Uh, but before I let you know the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So yeah, I'm covering budget fragrances today and I've got some newbies. We're going to go ahead and get started with this one from the house of Oboticario and this is Coffee Man Seduction. This is such a cool, calming kind of an experience. When I say cool, it's not necessarily like a refreshing or cold, cold fragrance. It just smells kind of a cool but very very soft spicy and of course there's the addition of warmth in this particular fragrance with citruses and things like that so if you like the idea of an everyday kind of a fragrance that's very you know comforting because there's definitely a comforting vibe with this one definitely check out coffee man seduction and if you like the idea of coffee this does have that kind of a coffee backbone and it's not necessarily uber coffee like you're not going to smell like a coffee shop or anything like that but when you really really focus on the smell you'll definitely pick up some kind of a backbone there and even though it's targeted to men this can be worn by women but it does feature notes of coffee mandarin orange cassis dry woods and amber there's definitely a vanillic touch here and of course an amber experience there's woods and there's some light fruitiness but for me it's lots of um, the experience of of citruses with uh, this coffee note and again the coffee is not overwhelming this is not going to smell like a coffee shop or a cup of coffee but you have that kind of coffee uh, kind of like coating uh, experience here so it's a great scent and as I said it's a men's release I think women can pull it off it's Oboticario coffee man seduction moving on to the house of reminiscence is Gimov this is a feminine targeted release and it does come in a very pink bottle my least favorite color but if you are a man and you like love don't be shy from uh, Killian this is definitely a great alternative for it uh, again uh, these uh, last two fragrances I'm discussing, this one and the last one, are available online for around $50 for 100 ml. And most likely the Oboticario website does sales. You can get promotions there, as I did see a promotion for a different uh, flanker of uh, Coffee Man. And this one is available at the discounters for around 50 bucks for 100 ml. Both of them are 100 ml bottles, but as I said, this is a love don't be shy kind of an alternative. And it's that kind of combination of kind of gourmand notes with Nor Neroli Orange Blossom. That's to die for delicious. Again, it's targeted to women, but if you wear Love Don't Be Shy as a man, you can totally pull this off, except for the fact that you have to get used to this very, very pink bottle. And it's featuring notes of uh, almonds, Neroli, Vanilla, Orange Blossom, Lavender, Pettigran, Tonka Beans, Musk, and Sandalwood. Yeah, it does remind you of Love Don't Be Shy. It's a little different. It's a little nutty, whereas Love Don't Be Shy doesn't have that almondy nuttiness, but it's definitely a great alternative for Love Don't Be Shy and I think it's definitely a solid release from Reminiscence and Reminiscence is known for their very very famous popular patchouli fragrance from the early 70s. This is definitely one for you to check out. Gimov by Reminiscence. Uh, check that out if you don't, don't know it yet. Uh, again, it's around uh, 50 bucks for 100 ml, give or take. Uh, again, those prices fluctuate all the time. Moving to the house of 
Corez. It's white tea. And I did want to add a tea focused fragrance here. And at one time I wore a tea fragrance, a white tea fragrance from L'Occitane that's no longer in existence. This is the closest I've come to uh, reminding me of that particular fragrance. It's also very, very cozy and a little floral as well. This is, uh, or it used to be 48 bucks. I did notice that there's a price increase. It's 54 bucks now. But I have received discounts from them, 25% off, 30% off, and sometimes around the holidays, 40% off. So the price drops significantly with this one. So maybe sign up for their email list and uh, wait for their promotions. But uh, 54 bucks is a Pretty decent for this one. Of course, the promotions are much better. It's a unisex fragrance. It's white tea, freesia, jasmine, musk, bergamot, mandarin, and neroli. So it does have a citrusy touch. It also has a very floral touch and a musky experience, but that tea is very, very cozy. And I find white tea to be very, very pure and just just really, really relaxing, almost kind of like a white musk kind of an experience with a kind of a tea-like quality. Of course, it's white tea. So Corez White Tea at number eight, uh, definitely a 1010 fragrance from this house. There's another one uh, from this house that I really uh, talk a, a lot about. I wanted to leave that off for part two of this video. But for now, it's White Tea at number eight by Corez. Now, moving on to number seven, we're going to the house of Banana Republic. It's 78 Vintage Green. This is a Great, great, fresh, uh, fruity, green experience for a uh, fragrance. It's a fig-focused fragrance, and it's also a unisex targeted. Most of these are unisex, and of course, if you love perfumes, and it's a male-targeted release, you're a woman, don't, you know, don't worry about it. Go ahead and, you know, wear it and, and vice versa. If you're a man and it's targeted to women, go ahead and wear it as well. This particular one does remind me a little bit of Hermes and Jardin Mediterranean, but it is a little different, but it, it focuses on the fig and it has tea as well. It's bergamot, tea, green notes, fig, mandarin, orange, vetiver, and musk. Very, very beautiful fragrance. Really, really fresh. Very, very green, fruity, and floral. Uh, perfect for summer. So, 78 vintage green from the House of Banana Republic. Uh, check that out. It is a 75 ml bottle I think for that particular bottle and you can find them at discounters anywhere for around 40 to 50 dollars. Uh, Moving on to number six it's Zara's Vetiver Grape Vetiver Pumplemousse. I don't know I put down Vetiver uh, Grapefruit for not my notes but Pumplemousse is French for grapefruit. Uh, it's kind of a simplistic fragrance but a great fragrance to wear in the summertime or all year round. I find the grapefruit a man or an orange in here, uh, which is uh, simplistic with the uh, three notes, a top and a heart and a base. Uh, very, very easy to wear all year round. It does dry down to that kind of earthy, woody, grassy vetiver note, but it's all very, very citrusy. And I find the combination of grapefruit and vetiver to be a top-notch combination, and they did a great job with this one. It's created by Joan Malone, and a lot of people ask me why I have the black bottle. I don't know. I bought them from Zara and I was looking at my notes or finding notes earlier and I went to Zara's website and they displayed the, the white bottles. And I think for some odd reason the black bottles were a kit and it came with a 15 ml bottle of the same exact fragrance as well uh, and that's why i ended up with the black bottle but either way a great smelling fragrance i really really love this one very very solid offering uh created by joe malone for zara it's vetiver pumple mousse at number six this next one's a fairly new fragrance for me going to the house of claude montana it's graphite oud edition this one right here once again a male targeted release but this one can totally be pulled off by women as well because there are fragrances like this out there that are targeted unisex by the niche houses. This is a designer house, although I don't think Claude Montana does any clothing anymore, or does he? I can't remember. But uh, he has a graphite fragrance, which I don't remember how it smells right now. It's been a while since I smelled it, but the Oud edition is definitely very, very oudy and fruity, and definitely also has a rosy presence as well. Oud, roses, raspberry, lychee fruit, almonds, vetiver, and ylang ylang. Great fragrance, long lasting. Uh, again, I find it to be unisex, but leans masculine and with the oud and stuff like that. But the fruits and the floral touches of the rose kind of make it more unisex, you know, if that makes sense. And it's a great combination of oud and rose. The very, very very, very popular combo of these two notes and going into a fruity direction with the um, raspberry and also the lychee fruit. So Claude Montana's Graphite Oud Edition at number five. I'm not displaying prices here. I'll have prices in the info box. So if you're curious about a fragrance, you can go into my info box and 
There's links to fragrances there as well. You can buy them uh, and also, uh, you know, look at the prices and things like that and notes and uh, additional information. This next fragrance is such a delicious gourmand fragrance. So at number four, it's Les Centurs Gourmands, Laurence Dumont Tendre Madeleine. Very, very delicious. Kind of a caramelly, vanillic, cookie dough-like experience. And it's um, the smell of the Madeleines. You know, those very, very popular cookies that they sell at coffee shops you can, you know, eat with a... a while you're drinking uh, like a cappuccino or something. Very, very delicious and they've captured it perfectly. It's uh, definitely very van vanillic uh, and a little nutty as well. It's unisex targeted and it features notes of vanilla, almonds, cinnamon, musk, bergamot and woods. This was a bit challenging to get here in the States for a while. I discovered this early on in my journey with uh, reviewing fragrances uh, on a previous channel. Uh, around 2012 is when I first discovered it. So it became a little difficult to get. Now I'm seeing it at Amazon on an eBay again for about 30 35 bucks for 100 ml. I think it's a great price and very, very cozy fragrance wearing experience. If you don't know it, check it out. It's a uh, Tendre Madeleine from Les Centurs Gourmands and Laurence Dumont. A great scent, so it's number four. Moving on to number three, going to the house of Frank Olivier, it's Oud Vanille. And once again, we've got another Oud combo and this time it does feature oud and rose but the addition of vanilla and the vanilla is very very prominent here it's very very vanillic so you've got to love vanilla oud and rose together and it does really really work i would say this is also kind of similar to um what's the fragrance from lancome oud something oud uh, bouquet i think it's oud bouquet it does have that kind of similarities but this is a much much a cheaper alternative for that kind of a fragrance and it's also unisex targeted so it features vanilla woods incense rose patchouli caramel spices raspberry and musk very very long lasting as well and smells delicious it's kind of like that juxtaposition of masculine notes with you know feminine notes to create a very very unique sex experience. It's a great scent. Frank Olivier Oud Vanille uh, at number three. This next fragrance is brand spanking new here in my collection and I'm going to dig into this house but very very tough to get. Uh, this is a German house named after a band. It's Rammstein, uh, is that how you say it? And it's Rosenrot, this one right here. These sell for around 40 euros in uh, Germany and they do ship uh, to the EU, uh, but it's a little more difficult to get here in the States. But if you can get it, and if you're traveling to Germany, I highly, highly recommend you get any of these fragrances because they're made so well, so quality, and at really, really decent prices, around 40 euros. I think they might even be a little less than that uh, for 100 ml top-notch quality fragrances. It's unisex fragrance. It's Rosenrot. Here's the uh, fragrance right here, the bottle. And on the back there is this rose. And obviously you know what this fragrance is all about. Rose. It's a unisex targeted fragrance. It's metallic notes, roses, incense, green notes, cashmere wood, sandalwood, grapefruit. So it's kind of a you know, there are a few fragrances that do uh, that I have that are similar to this. A lot of people say it reminds them of Portrait of a Lady. It is definitely a spicy rose, but I, I feel like Portrait of a Lady doesn't have the greenness that this one does. This has lots of greenness, and there are a few uh, fragrances that I have, uh, especially Panouge's Rose Agathe. Uh, is a very green rose and then also rose ardoise from uh, the house of um, uh, what's the the house uh, those two houses uh, have kind of a metallic minerally uh, green rose experiences with their, their fragrances and that's what this one is it's a really really great smelling fragrance it is spicy and that's probably why a lot of people think it reminds them of portrait of a lady I would say, yeah, maybe there's a light hint of it. And also there's a light hint of Rose 31 with this one. It's Rammstein's Rosenrot. Do you know this one? Do you know this house? Are you a fan? Do you have any of their fragrances? I'm going to dig into this house further very, very soon. Stay tuned. But at number two, it's Rosenrot from Rammstein. A great scent. I highly recommend it. Great, great price. Really, really quality. 1010. Can you guess my number one? 
Uh, you should know me already. If you know me already, I, I should say you would know what my number one is. Number one is a Bentley for Men Intense. Uh, definitely deserves a number one spot, but uh, Rosenrot was kind of competing with this one. But this one definitely has a special place in my heart because it's uh, one of the fragrances I really, really love. And I love the dry down of this one. Very, very sexy dry down with this one. And even though it's male targeted for men, I feel like a woman can totally pull this one off as well. And once again, we've got incense, leather, benzoin rum, black pepper, patchouli, woods, cinnamon, cedar, bay leaf uh, for one delicious intoxicating fragrance experience. It's leathery, it's smoky, it's incensey, it's a little green, uh, very very sexy with patchouli and lots of booziness. The combination is really really intoxicating and it deserves a number one spot here uh, for 1010 cheapies. It's a great price as well. You can get it for around 30-40 bucks with this one. Uh, I recommend it. I totally do. It's Bentley from an intense at number one and that's the list for you guys today a top 10 list of 1010 cheapies again some of these fragrances you might have to wait for the deals uh, you know if you can afford it get it but wait for the promotions like for example this particular fragrance uh, from Corez uh, wait for their promotions and sometimes during the holidays 40% off it's almost 50% off the price so it makes it really really great value but find the deals online do some searches and things like that and as I said, I have links in the info box. You can go catch these fragrances or find them on uh, different uh, discounter websites. But either way, guys, let me know your favorite cheapies, 1010 cheapies. If you have a favorite that you can suggest to me and that I've never spoken about, I'd like to find out what it is. Also, if you know these fragrances, do let me know what you think about them as well. Either way, thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Do have a couple of bonus fragrances that I did not want to leave off. Both of them are musks. First one is male targeted from the body shop. It's white musk for men. This is actually selling for around 30 bucks at the body shop and they do have promotions and it's gone down as low as about 15 bucks from the, the times I remember purchasing a lot of the uh, bottles of these, uh, for, uh, the, of this particular fragrance. But it's a very cozy experience and it's kind of like a signature scent. Very, very office appropriate. Uh, also a crowd pleaser and compliment getter for me uh, and women can totally pull off the uh, body shop wh white musk for men as well I know some women that wear it and they, they do find it uh, to be pretty uh, wearable for themselves but it's sandalwood tonka beans lavender vetiver jasmine and geranium for a very very beautiful uh, warm and cozy white musk experience for men it's the body shop white musk for men and the last fragrance last bonus fragrance is from the house of Alisa Ashley it's just musk it's a unisex fragrance powdery white musk experience I'm sorry not a white musk experience powdery musk experience is what I should say a little gourmand and a little nutty as well and also definitely floral this has been around for a long time. I know a lot of folks wear it and there's also, um, you know, body products with skincare or body products, what I should say for this particular scent. A lot of people use the, you know, oils or lotions and then uh, spray the fragrance on. It's a great smelling musk. It's definitely unisex, but it features notes of musk, tonka beans, iris, ylang ylang, jasmine, bergamot, oak moss, geranium, and rose. It does have a little bit of a baby powdery-like experience. So if you like that idea and you like musks, definitely check this one out. Elisa Ashley's Musk, definitely a 1010. All of these are 1010, a very, very good priced, very, very quality fragrances, and I do recommend them. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and sticking around for the bonus fragrances. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye.